now we will see the third method method number three test of significance of proportion of success so step 1 will be there um, statics and parameters in the statics and parameters there will be p small p step 2 hypothesis in that s0 h1 p small p p does not equal to small p then step 3 difference p minus small p step 4 standard error S E capital P capital Q upon small n or if capital N is given P Q small n root multiply with n minus n n minus 1 step 4 step 5 jerkel difference upon se and the last step 6 jerkel is compared with z tab if it is less than zcal is less than zcal h0 is accepted at 5% or 1% level of significance if zcal is greater than zcal h0 is rejected now method number 4 Test of significance of difference between two proportions. Of success. So, step one will be parameters and statics.
here is P and P2 then Q1 and Q2 you have to find out yourself then N1 N2 will be there with you here and if capital N is there then step 2 hypothesis H0 H1 P1 is equal to P2 P1 does not equal to P2 Step 3 Difference P1 minus P2 Step 4 Standard error It means SE So how it can be calculated P1 Q1 upon N1 plus P2 Q2 divided by N2 and square root of that sometimes it can be as SE P dash Q dash 1 upon N1 plus 1 upon N2 and then whole root for the P test can be calculated as N1, P1, N2, P2, N1 plus N2. It means combined P. Combined P is called here P cap. Okay. Then step 5 ZCAL. It is difference. upon SE step 6 ZCAL is compared with ZTAB if ZCAL is less than ZTAB H0 is accepted if it is greater than ZTAB H0 is rejected ok thus our 4 test can be conducted truly these six steps and our hypothesis can be tested on the base of these five calculations or five steps